Next news is that at Uttar Pradesh, India, India woman is set on fire on her way to rape case hearing. This is so freaking tragic. So this 23-year-old girl, she's raped by two men, right? She reports the crime to the police. She's on her way to the case hearing when she's at the train station on her way, uh, about to get on the train. And a group of five men attack her, assault her, drag her off, and set her on fire. Two of the five men were the men that raped her. Okay? So they've arrested the five men who are in, who are in charge of this. Um, and she is hanging on by a thread right now, being oh, treated for alive. severe burns. Burns that are so bad that uh, they're actually having to send her somewhere else to a hospital that can take better no, care. No, she she died. Latest reports, she died. She died? Last night. I think it was last night. Oh, shit. She died. Mm -hmm. Last update, she, she's dead, sadly. She, I mean, I she, she so couldn't update, survive 90% burns. Jeez, I don't know what to. I don't. I don't know what to say to this. Uh, Shabham, you, you. Um. Okay. So it's Uttar Pradesh again. Okay. Let's. Uh. Let's. Uh, let me say like. Uh, ignoring every rape case which is not reported. Ignoring every minor, minor rape cases which do not make the headlines. If we ignore all of those, uh, there are. 31 major rape cases in 2019 in India, which have made headlines and which have caused uh, outrage in, in, on the internet. And out of those 31 rape cases, 10 out of them are from this same state. Wow. So, and uh, just not 10 out of them, and many more are from this part of India, the Northern part. Okay. And also this, this particular city now, it just uh, I was saying before, like I was saying before, from January to November, this particular city has had 86 uh, reported rape cases. What? Just one city. What's wrong with What's wrong with India, man? Why is rape such a huge? Why is this such a big thing in India? Like, why is it this such a huge thing in India? Sure. You know, it's no no sex education. Hmm. They don't know. Okay. Uh, I was reading this article. There was this woman. I mean, I okay. Here, uh, sure, Pam, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I grew up. I had no sex education growing up. Okay, I grew up in Iran. I had zero sex education. Okay, um, I had to figure things on online. I never felt like I had to rape somebody. Okay, I don't like. It must be something else. It can't be not just no sex education. Like it's 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 like. Uh, Treating women as a, they don't acknowledge women as equal. They just think women are there for fulfilling their lust. They just think women are there to like for men. They they it's like a complete patriarchy. But why? I Chinese. understand. I know. I know. That's the symptom. Yeah. But what is the source? Why is this such a big problem in India? What is the reason why this is happening in India so much? I, I, somebody... Because they're getting away with it. Mm. That's that's one thing. I mean, for example. Uh, 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 just a different case, but it's very much related. Uh, like uh, a few days ago, a veterinary doctor was raped and brutally murdered. Okay. Wow. So, what, and what doctor? Four accused were not caught. Mm. And uh, a couple of days ago, the police uh, said that, okay, we have engaged the four accused and we have killed them. And the public was happy. Uh, you just said that with, with uh, no just, evidence? Just saying, just saying mm. those, those were just accused. Uh, there was there's no guarantee that those four were the real culprits. Mm. There's no guarantee. The police just made a story out of it, like, oh no, they were attacking us, so we uh, st uh, attacked them and they died and stuff like that. And that's bullshit. And there's also uh, another rape accused guy, Nithinando. He's like a self-proclaimed godman, and he was accused of rape and he just fled the country. And the news, what the news came was, he bought an island from Ecuador and established his own nation. Oh. Okay. And then this, this rape accused people from the BJP and no one's doing anything against them because they're in power. 
Jerry's saying she she walked a kilometer on fire. Nobody came to uh, to her. Yeah, aid. yeah. Some witnesses did see that but she after after getting yeah. raped. That was like when she got raped. Like she was uh, she was running. I think she was running a kilometer. Oh no, she, not after getting raped. After getting burned, she was running with fire on her body for a yeah. kilometer just to find help. Some witnesses have stated that I I've read somewhere. Oh, and people like, were so saying when she was running while she was on fire, nobody came to her aid, and one man even run ran ran away seeing her because she he thought that she was a witch. Okay, that's pretty. That's pretty. Intense. By the way, for let, let's just also mention that the people in India that are actually trying to address this, like people, like we have like a Me Too movement in the rest of the planet, but we also have a Me Too in India. And the people that the the people that in India that are doing this this kind of activism are are taking a lot much more risks and a lot you know than than the rest of the than a lot of people a lot of activists like us right in you know or, or at least like me and Ali and not like you Shapam but in 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 the more civilized world but again kudos to all the activists in India, in India that are trying to fight this, knowing the amount of risk that they're taking and the, the, all the uh, attacks that are coming at them, including some of the people in this picture, right? A lot of, I mean, you know, a, a lot of Indians, when they hear news like this, um, you can see it in the comment section that they're going to come like, oh, these people don't know what they're talking about. India is great. Oh, what about other countries? What about us? They do a lot of what about them. And they come and they're like, oh, no, you guys, you know, fake news, fake news. And these people have so much pride. And, you know, na this is how toxic nationalism can be when people are more worried about the image of their country than, and than a woman being raped and then being burned alive. Their priorities are the image of the country rather than the people that live in it. Um, and but for for all those people that are trying to defend India instead of defending Indians. Um, there are actually many activists in India that are that are seeing this as a problem and are going against the norms and are actually pushing back and they're doing activism and you know, including the people that you can see in the cover in this picture. And these people need our support. These people need to be highlighted. These stories need to be highlighted. Um, if you want to support activists, if you want to show that they're act, you know, them bringing attention to this is paying off, you know, share stories like this, you know, or go find these people and go support them, follow them, share their content, or share this video, or make your own. Video. I mean, uh, can I yeah, can I like say what I was saying in that time? Okay, so there was an article I was reading. This woman was interviewing rapists in a prison. Okay, so what she found out was uh, how the rapists, how those people, they grew up, they didn't think after they raped someone, they didn't think of that as wrong. They didn't think they did anything wrong. They were like, they were not guilty. They didn't feel any guilt. Mm -hmm. They were just like, oh, I had a woman in front of me. I had sex with her. And that's, that was it. Mm a shitty mentality and also like uh, the protests uh, after rape many uh, rape cases people like go out with candles and uh, march for like anti-rape and stuff and there there's a group a huge group of people who are saying like enough with this uh, the country is not providing us any justice which is which is kind of true the country is not providing uh, enough justice for the victims, which is true, but they're, they're all for mob lynchings and stuff against the rapist. Even a few days ago, it happened like people broke a rapist out of the jail. I mean, he was already imprisoned. Hmm. They broke him out of jail and then they beat him to death. Yeah, don't do that because, you know, that's not that. that first of all, that's not right. You need due process. You need to make sure Yeah, you need to have the justice system to make sure that you know somebody is actually guilty, you, you you could end up having blood on your hand and kill somebody innocent if you don't have a due process. And also, you know, strategically, this doesn't pro solve the problem in your country as well because you just put it, these are sh short term, 
justice that you're not fix you're not coming up with a systemic uh, process where these you know you need to do activism for the for the country to have better justice system that's a longer term investment longer term uh, uh, solution first of all it's a moral thing to do because you don't want to be killing innocent people you need actual evidence you need due process you need people with expertise you need the guilty to actually have a lawyer to defend uh, defend him or her just to make sure you don't ever uh, punish any innocent people uh, but also you you want if you take the justice out of the justice system you're never going to improve your justice system you're not going to improve your justice system you're not putting effort and activism and energy into making creating a justice system where where the victims are actually uh, see justice and the criminals are you know are punished you have to redirect your activism away from mob justice away from vigilante justice towards a better justice system that might be frustrating because it seems like it's a slower progress it's, it's you're not going to see the results and you're going to see innocent people not getting justice and you're going to see criminals getting away and you want to see a quicker solution you want to go right after the people that you think that are criminals and get the satisfaction of getting their revenge get seeing them hurt but that's not worth it you get even if the re even if the return on your investment is slower if you invest in a better justice system, it's going to be a higher return on investment. It's a slower return on investment for your activism, but it's a higher return on, on investment for your activism. Um, also, Armin, uh, can, I, can I also say something like to anyone who's watching or who would be watching this video later on, hmm. like uh, we are in Kolkata, India. We are having a Pride Work this month hmm. on 29th. And what I was thinking of, I had also talked to Atheist Republic's Kolkata Consulate and they agreed like people, we, we will just make small posters about uh, against rape and against mob lynchings and against all these kinds of crime in India. And along with the Pride Walk, we'll also protest against those, which is completely allowed in the Pride Walk. So if anyone wants to join, they can come. I'll be there too. Mm. So um, just, I like want to say this. So the top comment is uh, somebody from India saying, welcome to new India. Uh, culprits go, uh, got bail, victims got burned. Okay, so uh, uh, do you guys want to add anything to this? That was our last news. Yep. Okay. No. Uh, sorry, we had some issues with the stream. I don't know what's happening. We'll, we'll try to make sure that from now on, I'm going to do lower quality so that the stream doesn't have a problem anymore. So you got to see us a little bit more pixely, but at least the stream will be fine. Um, Chrissy is saying that she was kicked out of the stream. That's a YouTube thing. I don't know. That's the first time I'm hearing. Facebook often kicks people out of stream while they're watching, which is really dumb. You think giant or companies like this will have figured out streaming by now, but I've never ha heard YouTube doing that. Apparently, YouTube is doing that as well, which is very sad because the streaming is the only way for our channel to grow. And if that's not working, I don't know what else to do. Guys, please share our videos. Please tweet our videos. Share our videos post them on Facebook, send it to your friends. We're not, we're not, our YouTube channel is not growing because our topics are sensitive. And you, these topics used to be, not, uh, fr YouTube used to like them before. So a lot of channels grow, but now that we're trying to grow, the YouTube algorithm really, really works against us. So it's really hard to grow a channel like this that is dealing with sensitive topics. So we really do rely on you guys to share our content. So please share it as in as many places. Even if you don't have a following, just the fact that you're posting it just signals to YouTube that this is content that needs to be shared. You know, even if you don't have a following, it does have an impact on our videos. And liking our videos, commenting on them, also has a huge impact on our videos. Um, it just signals the YouTube algorithm that this is something that needs to be shared with more people. So please like and comment. Even if you dislike, that still helps us. Even if you do, if you do, if you don't like what we say, dislike our YouTube. That helps us as well. So yeah, thank you. Anyways, thank you, Christian Beach for modding. You guys are awesome for holding. Yeah, thank you. And Shopam, you're in the live chat as well. Another godless atheist. I hope the stream worked out better at the end. Like I, ho I reducing the quality. I hope. I think it worked, right? Uh, Angel, GV, everybody else. Who else is here? Na Nathan uh, on Facebook. I see Dario, Sush Sushrut, uh, Dan. Raf, Ali, Mike, everybody, you guys are awesome. Thank you for being here. 
Chris, oh Chris, I almost forgot Chris. Thank you for being here. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for correcting us when we made a mistake. And see you guys again next week. Bye. Bye, everyone. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.